triumph over me. Oh, my God can do anything more than... Welcome to Preach the Word. Worldwide Network. <laughs> Praise God. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for joining us on the Preach the Word show. I'm telling you, today is the day for miracles. This is your day for a miracle. And I believe God's going to do something supernatural in your life today. Listen, it's not by accident that you're joining us today. I have with me an awesome woman of God. Help me welcome Dr. Vernette Rozier. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you, great woman of God, Amen. apostle. Amen. Thank you so much uh, for coming on the show today, doctor. I tell you, I, I am really amazed of you, woman of God. You're just such an extraordinary woman of God. And we had a chance to meet uh, just a few weeks ago, and um, you really blessed me. I have to tell you that. Thank you. You really spoke into my life, and I thank you so much for that. And I believe this awesome woman of God is really going to pour in your life today. Um, she's going to minister to you. We're going to sit down and talk and hear what the Lord is saying concerning you because I believe that today you're going to see a miracle. You're going to see some things manifest in your life, what you've been believing God for. And to start this off, woman of God, let's talk about praise. I love talking about praise. Yes. Praise is my forte. Mm -hmm. I live and breathe praise. Yes. I am a praiser. I cannot sing a tap, but I make a joyful noise. A joyful noise. I sing prophetically, yes. declaring the prophetic word of the Lord mm -hmm. in song. And the Lord has given me a lot of songs to prophesy to individuals. And I think that really shows that God has a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. I used to wrestle with him saying, mm -hmm. okay, God, apparently you're trying to humiliate me. We are there. I cannot sing, and you're having me <laughs> sing in front of singers. My husband is a singer. My daughter is a singer, which you'll hear on tonight. All of my children play instruments and sing. But it is a part of the arsenal that the Lord has given me as a prophet, as a intercessor. Mm -hmm. In fact, praise has saved my life. Yes, time yes, and time yes. again, literally, Absolutely. praise raised me. I want you to share some of the testimonies, um, amazing testimonies, what the Lord has done for you, uh, um, being healed of cancer, um, um, being um, set free from a fire, delivered yeah. from that. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And, and the, the testimony, the great testimony about your daughter, the testimonies that she's about to share with you, these testimonies are going to encourage you and I believe it's going to increase your faith and cause you to believe and to receive a miracle from God just for yourself because I'm telling you what God will do for one he'll do for another I want you to share with you start with a testimony about your daughter your beautiful daughter that is such an amazing story miracles are meant to bring glory to God yes and every miracle that has transpired in my life brings glory to God mm -hmm. and God alone. Starting with my daughter, and I hope I'll make it to myself because it was such a epiphany for me. It was such an eye opener. It was such a relevant life uh, altering mm -hmm. experience. It had the potential to take me out of ministry. Yeah. It had the potential to make me uh, stop breathing myself to give me a heart attack mm -hmm. or a stroke because it was so traumatic. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter was six months old and she's now 33. She may check me on that. I stopped counting when she turned 30. <laughs> Maybe I just couldn't handle it. <laughs> but she's been married over 12 years now. But 16 years, <laughs> just grown up with her own baby. But at six months old, well, let me rewind. I prayed and asked the Lord for four children. Yes. Mm -hmm. I dreamed in second grade of getting married my sophomore year in college, of having four children. I got married my sophomore year in college. I gave birth to four children. I asked God for only one girl and three sons. I only wanted one of me mm -hmm. but to carry my anointing. God answered my prayer. And at six months old, 
I was taking my children and my stepchildren out to the beach at the end of their summer vacation. Left um, Lynn Haven, heading down Highway 98 toward Tyndall, to be very detailed. And from bone dry, sunny, hot weather. In Panama City, right? Panama City, mm -hmm. Florida. Florida. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I'm now in Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. Panama City, Florida. Um, reached Tyndall Parkway, and it started raining. I had her in my arms. The window was down. I reached over to roll the window up and went out of dry bone highway into a, the bottom fell out of the sky just pouring rain. Mm. I reached to roll up the window. The car started spinning out of control. Threw her from my arms out of the window. Wow. And I remember life started moving in slow motion. When it threw out of my arms, all I could think of is, oh my God, I've killed the only girl I asked God for. And the car was still moving. What stopped the car, it hit a tree. Totaled the car, the engine was standing mm. up out of the front of the car. Wow. And oh I God. remember opening the car door, slowly getting out and saying, Lord, I will not be able to live. I'll never be able to preach again because I've killed my only girl. She's either in the middle of the highway and a car has run over her, or she's under this tire or pinned to this tree. I looked down, saw her on the grass, and I knew, I'd always believed in angels, but I knew at that moment an angel had to have caught her. Mm -hmm. And an angel had to have placed her on that grass mm -hmm. because there was no logical explanation mm -hmm. as to why she didn't land in the middle of the highway. Mm -hmm. And the car kept spinning. I picked her up in my arms and put her up near my nose. I could tell she was not breathing, her heart wasn't beating. And once again, I felt faint. I remember saying to the Lord, I'm going to die right now. I can't turn around to see the condition of my two sons who were also in the car. Mm -hmm. Because if I've killed my daughter and they're decapitated, all of this ran through my mind. Wow. God, Jesus. I just won't make it. I grabbed her and ran to this little studio. Must have been maybe 600 feet, 600 yards. Ran to this karate studio, said to them, call an ambulance. Mm -hmm. And as they were calling an ambulance, I had the thought again, oh my God, my sons. Mm -hmm. And she's not alive. And I literally went hysterically blind. I could not see. And when I lost my sight, I started praying again. Lord, I'm blind. I can't live. And I heard a song. I had a dream that morning. Mm -hmm. And in the dream, and that's why I wrote the first God of My Dreams, and later on the workbook, God of My Dreams. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm really emotional about that still. Yes. I remember the dream that I'd had that morning before I got the kids dressed and was on my way to take them to the beach. And in the dream, one of my children had been injured. And I couldn't discern what had happened to them, but there were all these people around me that was hysterical. And they were screaming, and I was trying to calm them down. And I mm -hmm. heard a voice in the dream say, if you'll just praise me, everything will be all right. If you'll just sing, yes. if you'll just praise me, mm -hmm. everything will be all right. And I came out of the dream, and while I was pondering over the dream, the siblings started arguing about the beach. And I was distracted and got in the car to take them to mm -hmm. the beach. Just before riding into the rain, I had this thought, oh my God, the dream, turn around and go back. But before I could turn around, the accident happened. Standing in the karate studio, I'm saying, God, I won't make it, I'm blind, my sight has left me. And when I heard that same voice that I heard in that dream, mm -hmm. I realized it was a voice of God saying, Glory if you would God. just sing, mm -hmm. if you would just praise me, everything will be okay. I started singing to the top of my lungs in the karate studio, God is almighty. I didn't worry yes. about whether I could sing well. Mm -hmm. I just felt like her life is depending upon me obeying God yes. and praising him. Yes. I started singing, God is almighty, you're almighty. And I remember hearing someone say, she's hysterical. I kept singing. When the ambulance, mm -hmm. when I started singing that song, she started crying. That's when Glory I realized she wasn't dead. Yes, come on and praise him on that one. Wow. When I realized, God, oh my God, mm. she's not dead. You're doing Thank what you, you said in my yes. mind. You're doing what you said, God. The ambulance showed up, and she was so alert when they showed up that they said, well, maybe we don't have to take her to the hospital. And I said, she was unconscious. That's when they decided, oh, we'll mm -hmm. check her. They took us to the hospital, 
When we arrived at the hospital, put us in a room, the doctor came in, doctor picked up the chart, said her arm is broke, her leg is broke. And once again, I remember grabbing the wall saying, oh my God, mm -hmm. I'll pass out. I felt faint. The thought of what I've done to my daughter was too much for me. When I grabbed the wall and felt faint, as if I was, again, in slow motion, about to pass out, I heard this voice in my head again saying, if you'll just sing, if you'll just praise me, everything will be all right. Mm -hmm. I started singing, God is almighty. Yeah. God is almighty. Mm -hmm. God is almighty. And as I'm singing, the doctor is in such shock. She looks at me, look back at the chart, looks at me again, and says, oh, my God, I have the wrong chart. Mm -hmm. I thought, this will give you a heart attack mm -hmm. in the hospital. She put the chart down, went back over, came back and said, well, nothing's broken. Glory we don't know God. why she won't turn her neck. We'll just keep her overnight for observation. We spent the night in the hospital, and I remember not just being a Bible quoter, a Bible reader, mm -hmm. or someone that just attends church, but a Bible believer. I believed yes. everything I read in the scripture, and I knew the miracles that had transpired in my own life. So I understood the power of God decreeing a thing or declaring a thing and doing just what he said. Mm -hmm. So I took out the word, and though she was six months old, I opened the Bible, and I read the scripture to her. I said to her, Davern, the Bible says, let Israel say, had not the Lord been on our side. Davern Renee Rozier, the Lord is on our side. Yes. And I just prayed about it the next morning. I sat up all night. The next day, the doctor came in. I still remember the pediatrician's name, Dr. Patalis. He said, we can't find anything wrong, nothing broken. But since she lived, normally, if babies are thrown from the car, they die. We don't know why she didn't die, why she mm -hmm. wasn't run over in the highway, why she wasn't pinned between the car and the tree, why that she wasn't caught under the wheel of the car. Unexplainable. We can't, uh, miracles yeah. are unexplainable. Mm -hmm. They're yes. undeniably supernatural. Mm -hmm. But she'll have permanent brain damage. I didn't believe that then, and I have proof now that mm -hmm. they're not God. God will do what he says. That yes. I took her home. They said she'll have permanent brain damage. We don't know why she's not turning her neck. I left there, took her to a church service we were having that night, and I put her on the podium next to, not on the podium, on the altar next mm -hmm. to the podium. Mm -hmm. And while we were singing and praising God, Glory she sat God. up in her carrier and started turning her neck. Thank you, Jesus. When she sat up in that carrier, yes, Jesus, My God. and started turning her neck, I mm -hmm. said to her, I know that you will sing the praises of God, mm -hmm. and I know that God will use you mightily, very animated. Yes. I knew she would dance, and she has her own dance company. I knew that she would sing because she responded to the praise, and I knew God had kept his word. Listen, right now, I want you to just lift up your hands and begin to praise the Lord. Begin to yeah. praise God. I don't Hallelujah. care what your circumstance is or what your situation is. I believe that God wants to touch you now. Yeah. He wants to bring healing in your body right now in the name of Jesus. I, as a matter of fact, um, let's pray quickly. I know we got to move on, but it's like as I was speaking, I, I heard the word bone. What is it? Bone marrow? Yeah. Is, is it some type of thing bone is going on? Explain. Something is, is going on with your bones. I don't know who I'm talking to in your body. And we're, we're going to touch and, and believe God right now. Let's just begin to believe God right now for a miracle in your body right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, we declare, we decree a supernatural healing in your bones right now in the name of jesus and i tell you since we're talking miracles let's just begin to pray for cancer today yes, in the name of jesus any of you that are watching right now if you're dealing with cancer we're going to believe god right now that the next time you go to the doctor you're going to be healed of cancer and and let me tell you so we're just not sitting here talking we're, we're speaking to the cancer now in the name of Jesus, and we command the cancer to dry up and go right now, and we plead the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We command it to be so right now in the name of Jesus by the power of God. Let it be so now. I want you to begin to give God a praise right now. Wherever you are, begin to give God a praise right now. 
for healing, for healing. When we call out cancer, we call out healing of sugar diabetes. Yeah. We call out healing of high blood pressure. We call out healing. You know, Jesus said all manners of sickness and diseases. Yeah. Yeah. All manners of sickness and diseases. So God is well able to do it and he will do it. He'll do it right now. You may be dealing with your baby and your ba you may feel like, like well, my baby is sick and I don't know if my baby's going to make it or whatever. You heard the testimony of her baby. Mm -hmm. This young woman now is 34 years old, 33, 34. Mm -hmm. I, I do the same thing. I yes. forget the age of my children. Thank you. I too. feel better. Glory be to God. But you've heard the story. So that's what the testimonies are all about to encourage you that you may believe and receive your miracle now. But I tell you, I feel the power of God, I woman of God. Well. Oh, my God. God specializes I tell you. in miracles. Miracles yes. are commonplace. Yes. They are ours. They were meant to yes. bring glory to God. When yes. you were praying about the cancer, I'm not a cancer survivor. God gave me a miracle. Woo, when I Jesus. was diagnosed with cancer, yes. God gave me a mm. miracle. My brother was diagnosed with stage four terminal cancer mm. and spread to his brain over wow. four years ago. They gave him six months to live, and I was just visiting with my brother Sunday. God specializes. Hallelujah. He makes the difference. When man throw up their hand, yes. God doesn't throw up his hand. He still works He's miracles. He's still working miracles. Glory be to God. And you're about to see a miracle even now. Your daughter is about to bless us. Deveron is going to bless us. And yes, I am a grace, a testimony of a God we do, and He can do.
God will. Lift those hands. God can. God will. Believe him for miracles. God worked a miracle for Devon Rosier Critton at six months old. I am a living miracle. I've had one miracle after another in my life. Miracles. If you want to read about the miracles, get a copy of God of My Dreams. I share about all of the miracles that have happened in my life. If you would like to journal and work on your spiritual education, get a copy of God of My Dreams workbook so you can journal. Keep a record of the miracles that have transpired in your life. When I think back over my life, I've had one miracle after another from the time I was a teenager. It is a miracle that I am alive today. I wrote about it in Healing the Whole Person, Spirit, Soul, and Body. My father was so violent that he beat my mother to the point that she was unconscious and laying by the highway when she was pregnant with me. I was preaching in Jacksonville, Florida. Perfect testimony for Preach the Word Network. Preaching in Jacksonville, Florida, went into a trance. That is a state of where you're not cognizant of your surroundings, but your attention is on the vision and what is transpiring in the spirit realm. Went into a trance, and I witnessed my mother waving her hand, waiting for my aunt to come to Jacksonville to pick her up, to take her to the hospital. And when I watched all of this, I called my aunt after I finished preaching, who was living here in Tallahassee at the time, shared the trance with her, and she said, Vernette Yvonne, that happened, but you should have never known about it because your mother was pregnant with you. You can have in-the-womb experiences and memories that God will wake up in a trance to heal you emotionally. I understood why I became such an advocate for women that had suffered from domestic violence, to protecting women. I believe that if you're watching this broadcast and you need a miracle, if you need emotional healing, you need a prophetic word, join us on our Women's Conference Cruise in October where we will be raising the dead, healing the sick, prophesying, healing people from damaged emotions. We're going to take over Carnival Valor for God. My life is filled with one testimony after another, one miracle after another. Let me go to this word real quickly before I run out of time. But according to the synoptic accounts from the Gospels, the Gospels, according to Matthew, Mark, and Luke, miracles were designed to bring glory to God. They are still meant to bring glory to God. So every time a miracle happens in your life, it is not about you. It's about somebody believing in Jesus Christ. It's about someone serving Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah God Almighty. Not Buddha, not Hare Krishna, but serving the one that sent Jesus Christ into the earth realm so that we would have miracles. In fact, Jesus worked a financial miracle, turned water into wine. Jesus worked another miracle, feeding 5,000, multiplying the fish, multiplying the bread. There are financial miracles. If you need a financial miracle today and you're watching, he can cause your ex head to swim. If you are in debt because you borrowed and you don't have the ability to pay it back, I want you to lift your hands and believe God for a miracle. He still works financial miracles. He made the ex head swim, and I want you to tell your neighbor he'll cause my debt to come to the top, I'll be able to repay my debt. He will multiply what I have. He still works miracles. Jesus walked this earth, and when Lazarus was dead, he agape Mary 
and Martha and Lazarus. He loved them so much, he didn't show up until he could work a miracle instead of a healing. God hasn't showed up in your situation because he wants to work a miracle. If you need a miracle today, he's not late. He's an on-time God. He's just waiting to bring glory to God. Jesus is bringing glory to God Almighty. Remember that miracles are commonplace, and every single day expect a miracle because miracles come from the Savior of your soul. Let him save you. Let him deliver you. As Apostle Todman was talking earlier and sharing earlier in the broadcast, and she called out a healing in the bones, I felt that there was a change in the marrow of the bones. I felt that God was working to change the blood. I felt that there was a person that had crippling arthritis, and you're going to notice a miracle. When you go back to your doctor, you're going to notice that areas of your life where you have been impaired, that God's going to cause correction there. The doctors will attest to the fact that it is a miracle. They have no explanation, but will know that it is God. I believe God for miracles, and I want you to believe God for miracles also. There are miracles happening in the room. I want you to receive those miracles. If you're touch at home and you're touching your television, I want you to just make contact and say, that's me. God's working a miracle for me. I'm getting my miracle. I don't want you to hinder or impede what God is doing. I want you to not just name it and claim it. I want you to receive it today. Miracles are mine. Lift those hands and say, miracles are mine. And I expect a miracle. God did it for her. He'll do it for me.